In East Hamilton and Saudi Daisy, the high schools will compete for a state championship in bowling. It's a contest called Unified Bowling. Athletes with disabilities bowl with non-disabled athletes or partners. As John Babel shows you, it has framed up inclusion. Aaron Young is excited about the strike. He just rolled. He's fun. He's fun to play around. That's why I do. Well, I know he's hard, but he has swipe, but, but I keep pressing. The Aaron knows to slow it down, take his time, and stay calm. He's excited about Saturday's state tournament. I feel great. I'm happy to be going there. I'm so, so everything I got. The East Hamilton Jr. is one of a handful of student athletes with special needs who bowl with non-disabled athletes or partners. Last year, Aaron and his partner won a state championship in the 100-meter race. Now, at the bowling tournament, the athletes will alternate frames from beginning to end. It gets them more uh, inclusiveness in the community as well as in the school, and it gives them opportunities that 10 years ago, 15 years ago, weren't offered to them. And they're just like us in every way, shape, and form. Um, they're just a little bit more energetic than I am. Senior Jordan Griffith says Unified Bowling taught her to be a better person. She says she's grown more than she can say. Um, I've stopped judging people a lot more. It's kind of changed the way that I view um, my life. I don't, I'm very, a lot more appreciative. Coach Good has seen that kind of spirit spread. Seeing my kids walk to the school and be accepted and looked upon as, wow, you won something. I want to be your friend. That, that makes a big deal to me. They're great friends, great how to real. They all support what, if, we, if we rent or lose. As it should be. John Madewell, News Channel 9. And this is only the second year of unified bowling in Tennessee within Special Olympics. East Hamilton has won soccer, volleyball, skiing, snowboarding, and ice skating championships. Best of luck to East Ham and Saudi Daisy.